Hello guys, today I want to tell you about the saving the Maya rainforest. Deep in the forest, biologist Al McKay and I are bouncing the track along a recently abandoned logging road. Our eyes scanning the brush. This morning we have already seen a fox lolling on the sun and being chased by uh, an occulated turkey, but what uh, we are both longing for is a jaguar. We are on the eastern edge of the 37 million acre Selva Maya, the largest walls of tropical rainforest in the Americas north of the Amazon, which stretches <coughs> across Belize, Guatemala and Mexico. The Selva Maya boasts more than 400 species of birds and 200 species of trees, as well as the largest population of jaguars in Central America. Still in the 20 plus, plus years, the Tkai, a stalwart of the Belize Conservation Stem, has been visiting this mecca of biodiversity. She has encountered the elusive cat just four times, but we have been hearing reports of sightings in the local area. In the Belize Maya forest, a team led by Virginia Tej, with wildlife sciences prof. Marcella Kelly is studying one of the first top predators, the jaguar, with project leader David Hugo and graduate student Derby McPhail. She's using camera traps to understand the movements of, of these big cats. Uh, biologist Al McKay has long had a hand in environmental protection in Belize. In 2010, she so founded the University of Belize Environmental Research, Research Institute to train the next generation of natural resource managers. Now she is the man, managing director of the Belize Maya Forest Trust. You can guarantee your guys, Kay says in her lyrical accent, as we set off earlier this morning. But if you spend a week here, your chances are way high. It is Julie and the Nature Conservancy and its partners recently closed a $76.5 million deal to protect uh, 200 uh, <clears throat> 236,000 acres of rainforest here, uh, known as the Belize Maya Forest, together with the neighboring Rio Bravo Conservation and Management Area, which TNC helped establish in 1988. The forest will ensure and 11 million acre network of protected land that spans an area roughly the size of Vermont and New Hampshire combined, amounting to almost a third of the entire Selva Maya. With life scientist Marcella Kelly <coughs> is a professor at Virginia Tech. She monitors the grass population with camera traps in the Selva Maya, which has the largest population of jaguars in Central America. Yet the predators are rarely seen. With uh, the most uh, recent deal, Belizeans have boosted their total protected land area to nearly uh, 40%. Uh, tropical forests serve as valuable carbon reserves. 
potentially representing up to a quarter of a climate mini mitigation needed globally by 2030 under the Paris Agreement. At a local level, this forest contains three major water sheets supplying the country with about a third of its drinking water and a quarter of its water for irrigation. Hay has uh, one had a hand in, in environmental protection in Belize. In 2010, she also founded the University of Belize Environmental Research Institute to train the next generation of natural resource managers. Now she will lead the newly created Belize Maya Forest Trust, which will manage this massive new protected area. <clears throat> the Selva Maya is the largest swath of tropical rainforest in the Americas north of the Amazon. Stretching across Belize, Guatemala and Mexico. It's home to more than 200 species of trees where this cat-eyed snake devours a red-eyed tree frog. TNC has a 30-year history of working in Belize to make sure there is a balance between people and the environment says Julia Robinson, director of TNC's police program. Efforts have focused on building the capacity of local groups to sustain the sustainably manage their resources. Uh, suddenly it happens, watching the road ahead of us. I'm the first one to see it the neck. <clears throat> Even in broad daylight, the spots are not the first thing you notice on a jaguar. It's that neck, sick as I as a wrestlers. I stop the truck. The stout predator stands the broadside to us, growing. The creature, the creature then turns and saunters down the road. I AC off the breakers and let the truck roll forward, hoping for a closer look. The Jaguar crans its head around for one last stare down before vanishing into the trees. Even as we lose sight of the big cat, we know something important is happening in the forest here. Trinidad Wildlife Forest in Belize uh, were being lost at the rate of nearly 1% per year. Illegal logging, ranching and farming was occurring even inside the country's network of protected areas. This was threatening wildlife like pumas. Only a few years ago, it seemed likely that this remarkable place would be destroyed. Unlike uh, the Maya Mountain Massif in the southern part of the country, which is safeguarded by a network of national parks and reserves forests elsewhere largely made it in private hands. Some forests neighboring the Maya forest were disappearing at an alarming rate. <clears throat> but one landholder here proved to be a surprising early. Michael, Michel Bowen runs the business holding of the Bowen family which ranks among the largest land owners in the country. Uh, the family immigrated from England eight generations ago and gradually acquired a sweeping portfolio 
of, enter of enterprises ranging from the Lee's largest brewery and a Coca-Cola bottling franchise to cattle and timber holdings. When the family slaughtered their day, patriarch Barry Bowen died in a plane crash in 2010. Michael inherited control of the sprawling business, including the Chan Chin Lodge and, and neighboring Cringe. Many privately owned forests were at risk of being destroyed. When Chan Chin Lodge in the height on the Belize Maya Forest was up for sale, Conservation groups came up with a plan to purchase the property and ensure that it could be properly managed, managed uh, long into the future. Um, it was a hobby farm for my dad. Bowen says one morning in the Belize city, headquarters of Bowen, Bowen LTD, clad in skinny jeans and bright yellow sneakers. Michael says he grew up in Miami and while he had found he had fond memories of spending time with his father out in the rainforest. He was a city kid through and through. Sustainability, sustainability mattered to him in theory, but nature lower. He was not. At least not yet. After taking the helm as CEO, the business-minded son was forced to make some hard decisions to streamline the company and keep all its pieces together. Reluctantly, he decided to sell off most of its land holdings, but he kept the plot called Galoon Jack, on which the Chan Chin Lodge sits, in the heart of the Belize Maya Forest. Within the family, the decision was an emotional one. But uh, Bowen felt that Timberland would be in good hands with a new owner, a US-based sustainable logging company called the Forestland Group. Uh, the, the largest trees in the Belize Maya forest rise some uh, 80 feet or more into the air. As their verdant canopy absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, their trunks fell, sequestering it in their hardwood. hardwood. The average tropical tree can soak up approximately 50 pounds of carbon per year. Once mature, the Belize Maya forest will sequester more than 10 million tons of carbon. If this land were cleared for farms or ranchers, much of that carbon will be released again. But thanks to the Lamarck deal secured between the Nature Conservancy and the Belize government, this forest will be preserved in perpetuity. Once the carbon stocks in the forest are fully assessed and validated by a third party, they can be sold as credits on the international carbon, carbon market to businesses and other organizations to offset their emissions. On just a small portion of the neighboring Rio Bravo conservation and management area, a carbon finance project funded a $2.5 million conservation endowment and kept more than 1.9 million tons of carbon dioxide from entering the atmosphere over eight years. Under TNC's agreement with the government, the sale of carbon credits at this new preserve will cover half the purchase of the land and fund a $15 million 
endowment to manage the forest into the future. Those queries are our ticket to long-lasting conservation, says El McKay, the head of the Belize Maya Forest Trust. You cannot have lost long-lasting conservation without sustainable finance. Bowen, however, didn't anticipate the level of threat that the land now faced. Forests in Belize were being lost at the rate of nearly 1% per year, and illegal logging, ranching and farming was occurring even inside the country's network of protected areas. And while the forest land group has been <coughs> had been a responsible steward of the forest on its land, it put the property up for sale again eight years after purchasing it. The likely buyers Bowen knew would be the neighboring Mennonite community. There are approximately uh, 12,000 Mennonites living in Belize, and they are among the most prosperous farmers in the region, using modern equipment and engaging uh, in large scale. Industrial agriculture. Uh, Bowen had already seen tens of thousands of acres of forest in Belize, cleared to make way for rows of corn and soybeans. And he feared that Changing might become just an island of forest in sea of farmland. And while Belize's agriculture sector has provided critical food, security and economic benefits during the pandemic, those benefits have come at a cost. In 2014, Bowen began talking with former U.S. Treasury Secretary Hank Paulson and his wife. Wendy, who were long-time visitors to Changing, both were committed conservations and former members of TNC's global board of the directors. Over the next five years, a coalition of more than a dozen conservation groups and foundations banded together, including TNC, <coughs> the Paulsons, Bobo Link Foundation, the Rainforest Trust, and the Bi Weisk Foundation. They needed to come up with the strategy not only to purchase the property, but also to ensure that it could be properly managed long into the future by working with local partners like Bowen and the University of Belize Environmental Research Institute, who over the course of 2020 the pandemic and resulting travel restrictions stifled the tourism focus at Belizean economic. Uh, by the December, however, the conservation groups have secured the funds to buy the land. Then came a deal with the Belizean government that would allow the Belize Maya Forest Trust to sell carbon credits to cover half of the property's purchase cost and uh, more important establish an endowment to support sustainable management of the forest <clears throat> the government's uh, support for the deal at the time when the country economy has been hit hit hard signals <clears throat> a recognition that nature must be a part of the country's sustainable development it was a really difficult year for the world, says TNC's Jelly Robinson. Then we just had a had this huge win. A couple days after my Yegor sighting with Kay, I met meet up with Jeff Parrish, TNC's global managing director for nature protection, who came from the United States to see the Belize Maya forest. 
we hike up the entry steps to La Milfa, a mined archaeological site in the Rio Brau conservation. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Uh, have a nice have a nice day and goodbye.